Today I want to share my knowledge on uh, workflows on ERP Next and I am simulating this uh, tutorial uh, assuming that I am working on an app for medical for a medical facility this is uh, I am working with a healthcare module and so uh, here uh, the the workflows the workflow module in ERP Next has two major things that I have broken down into into two slides here so that uh, it will be easy for you to understand. The first one are workflow states and the second one uh, the second one is workflow transition rules. I am going to be explaining this to the best so that uh, you can you can get the meaning of this. So workflow states is just a way of dividing the workflow into different stages. You can see I have put it here. I've tried to break this uh, definition into the simplest uh, form possible. Of course, you can Google can help you find out more about it. But this is basically the state. is basically uh, the state of your document, the state of the document that you are working on. So, for instance, I'll be triggering this from a, a patient, from a patient encounter. So I'll be tracking an, a patient encounter with a workflow. So I want to know what is the status of the patient encounter currently so this is why i have i have broken this into different states as i have shown on this slide i have draft i have pending triage so when you create an encounter for the first time the encounter will be given the state of a draft and then when you it, it, it is in draft of course the encounter can be moved to pending triage uh, and then after triage when the patient is completed with the triage uh, the document can be moved to pending reception and then after pending reception when this is completed you can move it to pending cashier maybe for payment or stuff like that and then after it has completed with cashier the cashier can set the document stage is a state to pending doctor if they are now going to see the doctor they have already paid for the consultation fee and then after the doctor the doctor can set this uh, patient to go to the pharmacy and then I'll show you how I have done pharmacy. I have implemented pharmacy in such a way that the pharmacist is able to return the patient to the doctor or is able to close that encounter. So this is why I have this state here of uh, completed. So this means that this encounter is completed and should be closed. All right. So pharmacy, I'm also going to be showing you how you can go back and forth from a pharmacy or from a state in, in the doc type. Then we have transition rules. Transition rules, rules is basically the logic of the flow. That is to mean where next will the flow go after it has completed with, the, with what it has been executing. So for instance, if I am done with the uh, draft up here, here we have the first item here is proceed to triage. But before that, of course, there is this draft. And so the first thing I should, that goes comes here is proceed to triage. Okay. And then you, when you are told to proceed to triage, now you will appear, assuming that this is being managed with a queue management system, you will appear on the triage queue. All right. And then when you are finished with the triage queue and this, the person handling you on the triage says proceed to proceed to reception, you should appear on the reception queue. OK. And then, of course, there is proceed. proceed. These are actions. Basically, what happens next? So I am on the reception queue. What happens next? I will proceed to the cashier. Then I'll proceed to the doctor. Then proceed to pharmacy. Then of course I'll be complete. Here I can uh, again proceed to doctor or I can co close the encounter. So let's get into ERP next and start working on this. So of course here you just work, uh, search for workflow. Workflow list. Mine is empty right now. But uh, um, all right. All right. Let, let's proceed. The workflow name, you can call this workflow name basically whatever you want, but I would, uh, I would recommend uh, or I would advise that you give it a name that makes sense. So for instance, I can call this encounter flow. I can even add patient here. I can do something like patient encounter flow. All right. Encounter. Yeah. Encounter is written like that. And then the document type. This is the document that you want to 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 monitor or to track with your flow. So mine is patient encounter. So I'll select that. And then this is the check for whether this uh encounter this flow is active or not. If you leave this as is uh, as not checked, 
That will mean that this encounter is not active and therefore this document will not be tracked with this flow. So always check this uh, checkbox if you want this thing to be to be to be applied on your document. And then we have document don't override status. This of course there are other statuses that come with ERP next. So if you are doing your own, like for instance, we have a status like uh, approved, we have no cancelled, we have a status like rejected and stuff like that. So if you say don't override status, this is not going to be overriding your status uh, on the document itself. Let, let me just open another uh, log here and show you. So let me go to encounter list. So we have patient encounter. Let me open this. We have two here, but we can, of course, cr create ours. So here, for instance, you see we have draft and we have uh, submitted. If we, I can show you, I think also there are other, other types, yeah, whatever. So here we have two, we have draft and submitted. These are going to be overridden by our own statuses if you, if you don't check this checkbox. But when you check it, and then it collects with this one. The ERP next one is going to override it. So I would prefer if you are writing your own uh, flow, just leave this button unchecked so that uh, the ones that ERP next had written can be overwritten by what you are going to uh, over of, can be overridden by what you are going to write. Okay. Then here we have send email alerts. This is of course going to be sending email alerts to the next person where the queue, the the flow should go to. All right. And then here, this is now where the work begins. Here we have uh, a place for status. You remember we looked at that when we were looking at the slides. We have the status. Status was here. This is this. These are the states. Okay. These are states. Actually, not status. It's states. These are the workflow states. So workflow states on the on ERP Next can have only three options. Okay. Let this not confuse you. We can either have a document on zero this means the document is saved on one which means the document is submitted and therefore you you are not able to edit it anymore and then we have two which is cancelled this document is cancelled so most of the time we are going to be working with our statuses on the uh on the zero or the saved state okay so here we just just come and start adding our states and you remember here i had mapped out a few states that we are going to be working with draft pending what what I had already put those ones here. So if I come here, you'll see that these ones are coming. We have draft. So I can start with draft. If you want to track something that, of course, uh, is not here. And definitely, if you're here for the first time, these things are not going to be here. So just cre create a new one. Just give it a name. And that's it. So let me select uh, the draft one. And then the status is zero. Remember, we said it is zero because we want it to be saved. And then this is the field. In case you want this thing to edit a specific field on your the doc type that you selected here, this is the patient encounter. So the fields that will be here will be the fields that are on the patient encounter document. All right. So or the patient encounter doc type. So if you want, maybe when this is moved to affect a specific field, then you are going to select here whatever uh, field you want updated. And then the value that you want it updated with. I am not interested in, that, uh, interested in that right now, but you can do that. So you can update your DB in real time when uh, a status is changed. And then this one, I'm just going to assign this to the nursing user. Again, this uh, is are the people. So these are the roles within ERP Next that you have set on your system. So if you want a specific role to be the one that is able to change a document from draft to whatever or to edit it when it is in draft state this is the role you're going to give here but for this for the purpose of the simplicity of this tutorial i'm going to be giving uh, uh, everything here to nothing user but if you're taking this, this to production make sure that the roles here are set properly so that your workflows are not messed by other people let me add another um, another row here and say that this one now is pending triage again from our from our document yes that is the second one pending triage and that's all the, this is nursing user and then we have another row that that row was pending reception then cashier so we have reception here pending reception then we have cashier pending cashier and these ones are nursing user and nursing user here then we have doctor pharmacy completed. So 
let me add another we have doctor we have uh, uh, sorry pharmacy and we have completed and remember not to forget this this is nursing user this is nursing user this is nursing user all right this one is completed we are done with the with the statuses the next thing we are going to do now is the logic and this is where you should pay all the attention when you are creating this because if you mess with it here it's not going to work it's going to give you frustration so the state remember we said we have already set our states so i'm expecting that they are here the first one is draft okay when it is in draft stage what action should i do this thing is supposed to be proceed to triage okay and then the next stage is pending and and by the way pending triage and by the way i did not mention these stage, stages let me explain briefly what this means uh and of course if your state is not here you make sure you add it here just clicking and then you just type the name where you want it to go it's as simple as that so this is what this means let me say this one is um the next stage is so we have draft action proceed to try so this action is what is going to be shown on the button so when the document is on draft there is a button that is going to be shown let me open this there is a button that's going to come up here when we, we finish we finish with this workflow that is going to be to look like this and it's going to say proceed to proceed to whatever we have given here so this is going to say proceed to triage and then it is when it is clicked what is the next st stage so this is going to be pending triage so we are if i have clicked a button here saying proceed to triage then it is, should move to pending triage all right so because it is the action now should this is again nursing user the action now should be for the person seated at the triage desk so when i say this this uh, when i set this document to proceed to triage the person sitting on this triage desk is the one that's supposed to take action all right let's let's get a second one so that maybe you can understand the second one is pending triage okay pending triage and then here we are going to say what proceed to where after you have you have done this after triage you go to reception okay so uh reception let me just type reception so proceed to reception so after triage you are going to tell this guy proceed to reception and then this one is going to be pending reception and this is going to be nursing user and then the other row is going to be it's like it's like the flow is coming from here so this one goes down here so this one will go down here so we can say reception pending reception and this one is going to be proceed to uh cashier i hope so yeah from reception we go to cashier remember this is our our dummy this is our dummy stage is just for the purpose of this demo you're going to be doing yours the way you want the flow to go okay all right so let's move here so when you are here to cashier the next thing will be pending cashier pending cashier all right and this is going to be nursing user and then we have another row of course this is going to be pending who like you guessed it it will be it will be cashier and then after cashier what is going to do cashier you have done we are you are done with cashier you're going to you are supposed to go to the doctor so we can type there proceed to doctor and then after the doctor what are you supposed to do okay again this is going to be doctor pending doctor and this is nursing user again this one's put the appropriate rules to amend that so here we have doctor so doctor is supposed to send you to pharmacy proceed to pharmacy and then pharmacy will be pending and then nursing user is going to be here and then after the doctor uh what what's going to what's going to be here it's pharmacy of course then this is going to this is where i was telling you now i i i want us to implement this in such a way that a patient in pharmacy can be sent back to the doctor maybe the pharmacist found that the medication that was written maybe was the wrong one or for some reason the pharmacist wants to send this patient back to the doctor they are able to do that from the workflow so i want to say proceed to doctor okay and then here we are going to say pending who pending doctor like you guessed it 
and then here we are going to say nursing user and then we are going to have again here we are going to have pending pharmacy uh let me just say pharmacy i think is that one is going to be easy and then this is going to be completed this pharmacist wants to complete it okay uh this is going to be completed all right and then nursing user of course this is going to be pharmacist especially for this case so now what have we done here so this is a stage then goes to an action the action that's going to be taken is proceed to triage a click to a button proceed to triage to triage i've clicked that this is supposed to change the state of the document from pro, from draft to pending triage okay and the nursing user is supposed to be doing that so when you, when, when you look down here you see there's a field workflow state field all right the workflow state field here right now says workflow state okay so this workflow state field is going to be managing our flow on the database so here i have opened the uh, mysql instance and at the end here you can see we have a field like workflow state this workflow state is this document this this field here okay so this if there is going to be tracking the stage of our document at every level so you are able if you want maybe to use these statuses to uh alter other parts of uh, your your application maybe you want to manage queues and stuff like that you can use the status that will be saved on this 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 field of your database all right so that is saved now we can go and try uh try out our our encounter you see this one already this one now is in the draft state this is not the color of erp next this is fetching from our workflow because you can see it is dark and by the way you can also change these two ones these ones you can color code them we can have a different tutorial for that but you can basically color code these things to different colors there are colors that you want to be shown here on different statuses so let me open it for instance and here you can see the button i was talking to you about this this button has shown up here after we have saved our workflow and now you can see that our workflow says when i click on this button we have two buttons here we have proceed to triage and we have help so when i click just look look note, note this place here we have draft if i click on proceed to triage this changes to proceed to triage and actually this is tracked on the database if i come to the database now you can see this one was in draft all right let me refresh this table and you see this one is now pending triage you remember what we were saying what we said so this means that the person seated on the triage desk is the one that is supposed to be taking the action the next action all right so let me proceed now this guy has finished whatever they were doing with this patient and now look here when i click on this this one now is proceed to reception so our workflow is kicking in so when i click on proceed to reception but of course i have assumed that now the person at the trash desk has finished and they have clicked on this bus button to push this patient to the next stage the status of the document changes to pending reception and note that this is saved if i reload this page it is saved it is pending reception and actually when i come to the database note here we have pending triage when i reload the page now it says pending reception so we are tracking these things in real time fine the person at the reception desk has finished and now what are the actions for this guy this guy has a, a, a one action as well that is proceed to cashier and this ch status changes and the same of course to the database proceed to cashier and then the cashier what actions does the cashier have proceed to doctor all right this is a workflow and then this again of course happens tracks it here you go and then this guy is now sitting at the doctor's desk the doctor should tell you proceed to pharmacy exactly that is what we have here proceed to pharmacy is now at the pharmacy and now look here this is what i was telling you about this pharmacist is able to move this document you see now the pharmacist has two buttons proceed to doctor or completed and by the way completed we needed to change this a little bit on the status i wanted completed to be status of one because i want when it is completed i want it to be uh, to be to be submitted because this uh, encounter should be closed okay we have made that change save it hey, wonderful so this pharmacist can decide to send you back to the doctor so this status of the document changes to pending doctor so 
This will appear if you are tracking this on a queue. It is supposed to appear on the doctor's queue, okay? And when you check our database here, what does it say? It is saying pending doctor. Wonderful. Then the doctor has finished again doing what they are doing and now they can again say proceed to pharmacy, go back to the pharmacy and collect your medication. And yes, this is proceed to pharmacy. And now the pharmacist want to complete this, this. So I can just click on complete. And you see this says completed. This document has been submitted. You see, this is in completed state. And the, uh, and, and the status of this document now has been changed to one so this document is completed and is submitted so that is where we, are, we stop guys if you have any questions uh any clarifications you need to make please uh, send them through the comment section uh, below or you can uh, message me on social media thank you so much and see you on the next tutorial